What's up, peoples? So I found out today something very interesting. Paul McCartney is really dead. Google it. Ringo Starr said so. Ringo was there when it happened. So there's no doubting that, is there? In other news, I wanted to give you guys a little piece of advice. Um, friendship. It's one of the most amazing things in the world. And I wanted to share a little uh, a tidbit with you to try and save all of you some heartache. Because I've noticed a lot of my friends are struggling right now with losing people who they thought were always going to be there for them. And the reality is, friends are not meant to last forever. Family is the only thing in this world that lasts forever. And the closest you'll ever get without someone being family is a best friend. And if you're going to have a best friend, you need to be very specific about what you're looking for. Because a best friend needs to always be honest with you, one. They need to always be there for you when you call, two. And they need to understand and sympathize with everything that's going on with you, three. Um, the only additional thing that makes them different is uh, family is forever. Even if you disown somebody, they always have your blood or your name or association with someone that's so close to you, you can't deny the relationship. Um, some best friends can become that. I know I have a, a best friend slash ex uh, that's best friends with my wife, and we were best friends right now. We're kind of figuring things out. Um, he's family. He's an ex. He's a best friend uh, turned friend right now uh, because we're not that close. Uh, but at the end of the day, he's still family. If he called me for something, I have his back. That's what a best friend is. And the thing that makes it different, and you could have a best friend who's part of your family. That's not impossible. But the thing that makes that difference is um, how long term they're going to be and how well they're tied in with uh, your family, which is when they're irrefutably part of your life. Um, <clears throat> as far as friendship goes, I've never been very good at friendship because I'm not very social. Um, however, if you do have friends, uh, same thing applies. Be very specific about what you're looking for in friendship. If it's just a social thing, um, if you're trying to build these friendships into dating relationships, family relationships, um, gathering relationships, you know, whatever. I don't know. There's a bunch of different types of relationships you can have in friendship, uh, so just make sure when you meet somebody, you find out a little bit about them, you very quickly put them in a category. You can always change the category later, but just put them into a category where you can understand uh, what the relationship is all about. Uh, so that way down the road you don't get surprised when they have a different priority and all of a sudden they're impossible to talk to and get along with because you guys don't have the same interests. Um, with the best friend, make sure that you choose those, those uh, three categories I gave you. And uh, with family, you can't adopt. I have lots of brothers and sisters that have no relation to me at all. Granted, I'm adopted, so that means like just that many more people that I've adopted into my life. Um, but for those of you who have family that is blood uh, and, and cannot be taken from you, just keep in mind uh, when you marry your spouse, whether you're gay, straight, bi, trans, doesn't matter, whoever you marry is not blood related to you. And if they are, you're probably a hick. So I doubt you're watching this. But anyway, <laughs> you marry someone who's not blood related to you. And they become more family to you than family. Like, it's weird. Like, I would do things to protect my wife and protect my child. And I would do things to earn money and, and, and provide for them that I wouldn't do for my sister or my mom or my cousins. Like it's weird. So that's just an example of like how, um, family is close and how you can never put limits on who can be part of your family because anyone uh, that understands you and is going to be there for the long haul and is tied so tightly within you and your 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 social networks, so I, I guess, um, are the people who are family. I have lots of uh, brothers and sisters. I met with their brother the other day at Applebee's. We tried out the new thing they have there. We talked a lot about the projects we're both working on. And I know even if we don't get along, if he ever called me one day, 
I pick up my phone for him and I help him out if I could. Whether it's with tough love or a project he's working on, what whatnot. Um, I have my friend shout out to Tyler Stanley. I shouted out to him in a, another video. Um, shout out to Chris Kalstrom, who's my other brother. Kimberly Jones, who's my little sister. Uh, those are just a few of the people that I feel like are always going to be there for me and I'm always going to be there for them. Um, doesn't mean a whole lot to everybody else, but I want you to know that I'm very specific about my friends because I probably can't name any more than that uh, off the top of my head. Those are the people that are closest to me. That's how tight my adopted family circle is. I don't have a best friend right now. I'm having a hard time with that because I thought I had a best friend and then the circumstances changed because of some unresolved issues and hopefully we'll get back there. I hope so, but right now we're just kind of taking our time away from each other to figure things out, um, and it'll be okay. I'm sure a best friend will come along, and um, you know, and I'll, I'll just take a step-by-step step with that, just like you guys should. Be very careful who you choose to be in your life. Uh, yeah. Do I look as tired as I feel? Because I'm tired. I would like to make a recommendation, by the way. If you're feeling tired at work, watch Brian Hall. H-U-L-L. That's my YouTube recommendation for this video. Next on my video is whatever you guys ask for. If you're on Twitter, hashtag got to ask Jimmy. If you're on Facebook, shoot me a message uh, through In Future Tense or through James Eugene Hahn. This has been Intense Future or In Future Tense. Talk to you guys soon.